Sean Taylor made the tackle. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But the guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. A first down for Connor and then so. And now off to the races down the right side. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. James Connor, 63 yards. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Returnable here for Hester. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. And it's third down. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Operating from the gun, Cunningham. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Three plays and out. It's fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. a return of five. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and ten. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 41-yard line. Again, it's counter. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Have to give credit for a nice play there, but also have to look at it as a blown assignment. He became a free runner that turned into a free hitter. Vic on third and two. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Eight yards, first down as they're able to convert. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. On first and 10 is counter. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. He's across midfield. A gain of three, second down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Again, a run with Connor. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. 
We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off a big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the second. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Reggie Bush, 34 yards, and the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you've noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Hester on the return. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The putter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Here's second and ten. From the gun, Cunningham. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. But they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one. That hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Steps away. He'll get this to Ward. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. They'll run here with Connor. And the Steelers are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. A gain of eight. Brings second down and goal. Vic out to his left. Vic loses the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And he's into the clear. He's at the 50, the 30, the 20. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. Partner, that one looked like it was over. I mean, they had control, had the football, and the defense had to make a play in order to keep them in the game. That's exactly what they did. And now that door ajar, two-score game. So hold on here, not done in the fourth. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. The it's the fullback taking it in. And the Ravens have used the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point up and through. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in place, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Oh, 
And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the 13-time Pro Bowler Ray Lewis. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. 41-yard line. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. They'll run on first down. It's Williams. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Now here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. First down. They'll run with a big man, Bo Jackson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Steven Nelson. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Again, it's Jackson as he'll stay on the ground. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. They, of course, tie game, would like to avoid overtime if they could. And a lot of people would go ahead and play it safe here and get to overtime. And, try and this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Weddle. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. On first down, Jackson. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. A gain of a yard. Brings up second. And they run again with Jackson. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage? If they do pop one, it's going to go away. Yeah, as I said, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. It's a six-yard pickup, but still a few chain links short, it appears, with fourth down coming up. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid-type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Ron Woodson picks his former team. 